Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, in this episode, we're going to explore the Undead Berg. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to travel through this aqueduct here. Come up the stairs. Too early. Ooh. That was almost really bad. Get a backstab. Every now and then you'll have a hollow kind of run up. Oh my goodness. I'm playing like doo doo. See if that hollow is running over here. There he goes. We'll wait for him to go up the ladder. We'll get him when he comes over here. Come on, bud. Oh. He's trying a jumping attack, huh? There we go. Drink another Estus here. We're going to roll through these barrels. Drop down. Grab a large soul of a lost undead. You turn around. There's a little doorway here. It's hard to see. Grab ourselves another soul item. You can knock these hollows off. These two are going to jump off. Or jump off. <laughs> jump down. Sorry about that. We can pick up some rubbish. This rubbish can be used to put in Snuggly's nest. We'll do that later when we go back to the Undead Asylum. Grab ourselves a humanity. Head through this fog wall. And then before we go up those stairs, grab another soul item. Over here, um, we can jump across. I'm not sure if you can make this jump or not, but we're going to go another way. There's Hellkite. We'll be seeing them later. We're actually going to go another way to get across there. We're going to go up this ladder and jump across. But we have to do some exploring first. That guy was literally hitting nothing over there. Oh, I thought I would be fast enough. Guess not. It's all right. Oh my goodness. I am missing all my attacks here. Right here, by the way, is a bonfire. If you want to light it now and sit at it, you can. I'm not going to bother with it just yet. Grab this wooden shield. I would recommend parrying these guys with the spear. They're they're really easy to parry. And it's good practice. Yeah. 
Oh, I thought he dropped an item. Guess not. They can drop their shield or their spear every now and then. So you may get it. Ooh, we got a Titanite shard. We can use as many of those as we can get. This guy hiding in the boxes over here. Talk to this merchant here. Well now, you seem to have your wits about you, hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> Things are getting treacherous in these parts. A horrible goat demon has moved in below. And up above, there's that humongous drake and a bull demon too. If you stick around this place, it might end up being your grave. <laughs> we're gonna purchase one item here for now eventually we're going to get the orange guidance soapstone dried finger maybe a few lloyd's talismans i'm not sure we have four already and we're not going to use that many uh throughout the game but we're also going to buy a small or small a short bow and some standard standard arrows eventually not yet that'll be in the next episode for now this this stuff can wait the repair box and the Thank bottomless you box kindly. <laughs> sorry i spoke over his dialogue but he doesn't have much to say really We're actually going to kindle a bonfire in this episode as well. Climb this ladder. Grab a throwing knife. Over here is where we uh, entered and... Saw a Hellkite fly and kind of sit on the bridge for a second. And then fly off. This is where this is at. And then over here is that jump I was talking about earlier. If you line yourself up just right, you can jump over. And get this item. Backtrack a little bit. We're going to go light the bonfire and then go ahead and kindle it as well. Now all the enemies will respawn, but that's okay. We'll kill the ones that are just going to come after us and then leave the rest be. Since we don't have a humanity from killing enemies, as long as you don't kill the boss in the area that you're at, you do have a chance of getting some humanity from killing enemies. But as soon as that boss is dead, you cannot gain any humanity for killing enemies. So keep that in mind. We did not get any, so we're going to pop ourselves one humanity here. Sit at the bonfire. And we can kindle the bonfire. You have to be able to be human. Not be able. You have to be human. To be able to kindle a bonfire. So do keep that in mind. If you died and you're in your hollow form or your undead form. You have to reverse the hollowing process. And then go ahead and kindle the bonfire. Let's do that now. Alright. Oh, you know what? Let's level up, too.
real quick. Let's use our souls. We're not going to use all of them. Just enough to level up a little bit. We'll level up our strength to 16. Our dex to 16. And... Yeah, our vit uh, vit vitality. Oh my goodness. To 13. There we go. Now let's go kill these guys again. It's just going to give us a little extra oomph. We got guys throwing firebombs at the top at us. We're going to run straight across. We're going to have three guys. Got a long sword and some hollow armor from him. Grab some black fire bombs. Up here we have a little bit of an ambush we can see. We're going to run across. Well, or not. Completely botch that ambush. I was hoping to backstab all three of them. So before we go up this ladder here, we're going to go up the tower. Take care of this archer. Let's run over here. Take this guy out. Take those two guys out. Grab a firebomb from him. Another soul item. If we look down, we could actually see an item down there. We'll be getting that in just a moment here. That residence key that we bought from the merchant earlier, we can use to open up this door. We're not going to go through the door just yet. We're actually going to get the attention of these guys over here. These guys are so slow. Really easy to parry, but super slow. Let's take care of this guy real quick. You got to be careful with this. There's a barrel that's going to catch on fire and roll down the stairs here. So you want to just run up there for a second and then run back down. Let's go back through this door here. Or not back through it, but let's actually go through this door. Open up the chest. And right here, we have our first Black Knight. 
Let's go ahead and chug an Estus because he can one-shot us if we're not careful. We're going to lock on. We're going to try for a backstab. May or may not happen. All right, we've got a backstab. You do not have to fight this guy. If you don't want to fight him, do not fight him. He's not the easiest. This is what you want to practice with your parries for. Is these guys right here. If you can parry these guys, you're going to be doing well for yourself. There we go. He didn't kill us outright there. By the way, we got a Titanite chunk from him. We'll always get that Titanite chunk. Uh, sometimes he will drop his sword or his shield. And I think they have a small chance to drop their armor too. But these guys, if you can learn to parry them, you'll be doing very well. You do not have to kill that guy. You can get his attention, run by him, grab this blue tear stone ring. And then run away. Let's go ahead and put that on. If we get to really low health, we'll get some extra defense with that uh, tear stone on. It's two hand. Right here for anybody that has the master key, they can open this door. We cannot because we do not have the master key just yet. Oh, well, we won't have it at all, but we don't have the key for that door just yet. Right here in this barrel, there's going to be a crystal lizard. I always charge up an R2, hit it, and then hit it with an R1. Every now and then, you can get large Titanite chunks from that crystal lizard, or you can get a um, just a regular Titanite chunk as well. It's just a random drop. Won't happen every time. That guy was stupid. I wasn't even over there anymore. He's still trying to shoot me with an arrow. If you double tap circle, you can slide down ladders. Or if you hold circle, you'll be allowed to uh, slide down ladders as well. Real quick, on our quick slot, we're going to put on some gold pine resin. Right about here, we're going to use it. Heal up. And then we're going to see the Taurus demon jump down. We're going to run back to this ladder as fast as we can. This one you can't do the dropping attack and get double damage like with the Asylum Demon. Just kind of drop down. Stay under his legs. There we go. And he's dead. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We get a humanity and a homeward bone. Roll through those boxes there, get another soul item. Now let's talk to everybody's favorite NPC, Solar. Praise the sun, everybody. Praise the motherfucking sun. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. 
<laughs> oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. So Lair gave us an online item. So if you want to be summoned into other people's worlds, you can use this white sign soapstone on the ground. You'll lay it on the ground and somebody can interact with it and summon you into their world. That is all that does. Real quick, we're going to run over to this black spot. Turn around immediately. And the reason why is because there's Hellkite again. He's not going to shoot any fire at us. You're free to just run down these steps here. And we can kick down the ladder. You can either slide down the ladder or you can come over here and run down the stairs. Just make sure that you put that ladder down. We can rest at this bonfire. And we have a humanity that we can't use at the moment. But after resting at the bonfire, there's a soul farming technique that you can use. You won't be able to gain a massive amount of souls, but you can gain a good amount. Run up these steps. He's going to blow fire. Kill all the enemies. You'll get 555 souls. You'll backtrack, slide down the ladder, or run down those broken steps, either one. Rest at the bonfire, and then repeat it. We'll do it one more time just to show everybody. Go up the ladder. Sprint over here. And then run back. There we go. And then slide back down the ladder and rest at the bonfire. We're not going to rest at this bonfire just because um, I'm going to do all this off uh offline well obviously offline but off uh recording and i think what i'm gonna do is get about four forty five thousand souls forty five thousand to fifty thousand souls and we're gonna go buy all those items from that merchant and level up as well so with that being said i would like to tell everybody once again thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. 
Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or not. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. But like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.